AOI, the Association of Oldest Inhabitants of the District of Columbia. Founded on December 7, 1865, the AOI is the district's oldest civic organization. Thirty-one prominent residents, including two former mayors, met at City Hall, now the Court of Appeals, and pledged to preserve memories and matters of historic interest, to work and strive for the city's stability, security, and advancement, to aid in every way the prosperity and well-being of the district while preserving the heritage of its past. From the minutes of the charter meeting, anxious to cultivate social intercourse and unite ourselves more closely as original settlers of the District of Columbia, we have formed ourselves into an association. The AOI founders sought to preserve the memories, histories, and stories of the nation's capital through reminiscences and oral histories. AOI's Washington Monument Memorial Stone, located at the 240-foot level on the west wall of the 22nd Landing, was dedicated July 4, 1870. Alexander Roby Shepard, a native Washingtonian, was the territorial governor of the district from 1873 to 1874. While the members of the AOI were not supporters of Shepard during his reign, they came to appreciate the improvements he made in the city's infrastructure. After establishing a silver mining operation in Batopilas, Mexico, he died in 1902 and was buried in Rock Creek Cemetery. The AOI proudly participated in his funeral procession as well as in a welcome home parade given in his honor in 1887. In 1909, a statue of Shepard was erected in front of the district building where it stood until 1972 when the Pennsylvania Avenue Development Corporation had it removed for the redevelopment of Pennsylvania Avenue. AOI member Nicholas Callan's house at 1418 F Street on the left served as the AOI's headquarters for a number of years in the late 1800s. Later, the organization met in the Corcoran Building at 15th and Pennsylvania Avenue for many years prior to moving to the old Union Firehouse at 19th and H Streets in 1909. It served as AOI's headquarters until 1956. When the AOI welcomed the few remaining members of the Veteran Volunteer Firemen's Association in 1907 in order to preserve their D.C. charter, the AOI became the custodians of not only the old Union Firehouse, but a treasure trove of artifacts and memorabilia, including several pieces of vintage firefighting apparatus and two bronze bells. In 1938, the AOI supported the newly designated District of Columbia flag. The D.C. flag, based on the Sulgrave of George Washington, the Washington family coat of arms, flies above most district buildings. In 1956, the AOI moved its headquarters to the Hyrick House after selling the old firehouse at 19th and 8th Street to the International Monetary Fund World Bank. As the AOI's collection of art, historic artifacts, and fire department-related memorabilia grew, it could no longer afford the near $1,000 per month storage fees for the collection, so dispersed it to the Smithsonian, the Historical Society, the Navy Museum, and the Department of Interior. It retained its valuable pieces of fire apparatus and two large bronze bells until they were turned over to the Friendship Fire Association Museum in 2015. The AOI relinquished its claim and abandoned its plans to build a new headquarters on M Street in Georgetown in 1972. This architectural rendering of AOI's planned but never built new headquarters building in Georgetown was purchased by the AOI and donated to the Peabody Room for the Georgetown Branch Library. The picture was damaged during the fire of 2007, but the community partnership of Georgetown University paid to have it restored.
From 1960 to 1980, the AOI's membership declined. Palisades resident Harold Gray almost single-handedly saved the AOI when he and several others revived the organization in the early 1990s. The AOI is known for its well-attended monthly luncheon meetings, many of which were held at the Pier 7 restaurant on the D.C. waterfront until it closed in 2014. AOI averages 90 members and guests per month at the new location here at Capital Skyline Hotel on I Street Southwest. And on occasion, when hosting former Washington Post columnist Bob Levy or his successor John Kelly, we've welcomed 130 members and guests. In 2006, the AOI presented its first Governor Shepard Award for Public Works Improvements to former D.C. Mayor Tony Williams. The female reenactors of distinction, freed, many of them AOI members, interpret Civil War era history and have presented at our luncheon meetings, as has Elizabeth Smith Brownstein, performed the music of Abraham Lincoln's era and has joined numerous other AOI members, guests, authors, and researchers to discuss the architectural, social, artistic, and political history of the District of Columbia. But perhaps the AOI is best known for its efforts to return the statue of Governor Shepard to the district building in January 2005 after the statue's near-quarter-century exile. By January 2009, we arranged for the statue to be lighted in time for President Obama's inauguration and... In 2010, dedicated a biographical plaque at the base of the statue to inform visitors of his accomplishments. In 2012, the statue was cleaned and restored by Artex Corporation with funds provided by the District of Columbia Commission on the Arts and Humanities. With a generous donation from AOI member Edith Johnson, regular maintenance of the statue will be performed for many years to come. One of the AOI's proudest accomplishments was the search for the believed long-lost records of the AOI Colored Incorporated. After a frustrating attempt to find any records of this parallel African-American organization, AOI member James Goode serendipitously stumbled upon them while conducting research for a book. William H. Nixon served as president from 1942 to 1962 of what was later abbreviated to the Oldest Inhabitants Incorporated. His records were donated to Howard University's Moreland Spingarn Library by his granddaughter Dolores Muncie at the encouragement of the AOI. AOI members support other important initiatives related to its mission. The Philip W. Ogilvie Award is one of these. Dr. Ogilvie was a past president of the AOI, had served as the first archivist of the district, and as a professor of tourism studies at George Washington University. Given in Phil's name, a $750 scholarship is presented annually to George Washington University's Masters of Tourism Administration Program's valedictorian. Additionally, the AOI supports the Historical Society of Washington, D.C. and its Kiplinger Research Library. The annual D.C. Historical Studies Conference. The Military Road School Preservation Trust. The Preservation of the District Civil War Forts. Annual Emancipation Day Events. Exhibits at the John A. Wilson District Building, the Franklin School Coalition, and efforts to design, build, staff, and maintain a new D.C. City Archives facility. We have promoted the initiatives to support the Friends of Clara Barton's Missing Soldiers Office and their partners, the GSA and the National Museum of Civil War Medicine in Frederick, Maryland. 
At the encouragement of member Joe Grano, now deceased, the AOI ventured into a successful multi-year effort to retain the district's war memorial as its own and focus attention on Pershing Park as the National World War I Memorial. On more than 18 occasions between 1888 and 2009, the AOI has sought to call attention to and address the disenfranchisement of district residents by their denial of voting representation in Congress. The organization and its membership address many causes that reflect AOI's mission to preserve the L'Enfant and Macmillan plans and the history of the district, its historic organizations, institutions, and its citizens. The all-volunteer board of the AOI of D.C. thanks you for joining us today. As we conclude our 150th year and celebrate AOI's sesquicentennial.